everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Mix With Me. Mix With Me is a fun little series that we do here on my channel where you send me some Scentsy mix suggestions on which Scentsy bars to mix together to create a fabulous new fragrance. And I do the mixes and I give you my reviews and my opinions on what I thought of the mixes once I've tried it. And let me tell you, y'all were coming in hot because there are some fantastic mixes and again, I can only do so much mixing. <laughs> so if you have submitted a mix suggestion in previous videos, I have not forgotten about you. I promise. Um, I'm going back to previous mix with me videos to, to check out all the mixes, see what I have, see what I'm kind of in the mood for as well. Um, so don't feel like if I didn't get a chance to do your mix from a previous video, don't feel like I'm ignoring you <laughs> or anything like that. So Okay, so this week we are going to be talking about four different mixes. And so thank you so much to those of you who did send in these mix suggestions. And so many of you are sending in multiple mix suggestions and it's so appreciated. And um, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first mix that we are going to talk about comes from Marie and Marie sent in several mix suggestions as well well greatly appreciated i'm definitely going to be picking from this list here she sent in nine <laughs> i'm like yes <laughs> i am here for it um the one i decided to go with from her list was number nine which was coconut cotton and vanilla waves luckily i have coconut cotton in my scentsy club i have vanilla waves in my scentsy club so um i do feel bad because there's at least one thing from each of these <laughs> that are not currently available. So I do feel bad there, but um, if you have some of these in your club, maybe you can totally give these a try. So coconut cotton and vanilla waves. This totally like intrigued me because I was thinking, okay, coconut cotton, it's a sweeter kind of laundry scent because you have the, the coconut. Um, you do the coconut. It's really well balanced. It's not like a very traditional laundry scent. It's really more of that like sweet tropical coconut that comes through with just kind of like a little hint of a laundry finish. So really nice, um, kind of different, which is why it's in my club and I love it. Um, and then when you introduce the vanilla waves and with this series, by the way, I do one cube to one cube in the same warmer. So a lot of times when I'm talking about what I've been warming and getting through, I will talk about how I do mixes where I have like one scent in one warmer and I've got a different scent in the same area in a different warmer talking about like mixing and alternating warmers. This particular series, I always do the mixes in the same warmer. So one cube to one cube in the same warmer. Typically, um, sometimes it will be a situation where maybe one scent will outshine the other. So I may do a mix of like two to one. And in that case, I'll let you know. But this week, it's been one cube to one cube um, for all of these mixes. So, but Vanilla Waves. Vanilla Waves is really, really nice as well. It's a it's not to me it's not a bakery vanilla scent it's more of that like floral kind of vanilla um i think there might be sandalwood in this as well and there's also like kind of a there's a salty <laughs> there's a salty feel to this which is why some people say that this like kind of smells like popcorn to them i can actually kind of get that but um to me it's more of that like floral vanilla and then Kind of like a maybe it's like kind of a salted caramel finish so it, it is it's bakery but it's not if that makes sense like it's totally different from vanilla vanilla blah, 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 <laughs> vanilla bean buttercream and sugar cookie it's definitely different in that but really really nice so mixing the two together was really really nice because again it's still allowing more of the like coconut cotton to shine through but it is adding that salty sweetness of the vanilla waves which is really really nice and these this performed really really great so thank you so much marie for sending in your suggestion of doing this mix because this was a great one for sure Okay, the next mix was sent in by, okay, and I apologize if I'm going to butcher this, but the username here on YouTube is J.R. Lagos, 
I believe is how that should be pronounced or junior Lagos. Um, this was sent in, uh, actually three months ago. So on a previous mix with me, um, again with the vanilla waves, I guess this is the vanilla waves edition of, <laughs> of mix with me, not these other two, but, um, this was suggested as vanilla waves and sugar is such a great fair boardwalk vibe, sweet cotton candy and caramel. I love it. Well, I am here with you because I did this mix as well. So sugar and vanilla waves, really, really nice. Um, and I can totally get that like boardwalk vibe um, because you have that salty kind of vanilla from the vanilla waves, but then you have this like cotton candy. The thing with sugar is that it's a perfumey cotton candy. So I think mixing it with the sweetness of the vanilla waves kind of tones down the perfumey aspect of sugar um which is really nice and i really enjoyed this i actually had this mix going in our bedroom it was really really nice and i will tell you sean commented on this mix and he was like this smells so good in here okay if you guys know my husband prefers to have the rugby all blacks scent going in the bedroom at all times <laughs> He's like, his thing is you get to pick the scents that go throughout the house all the time. He's like, I just want to have a say for what's going in the office and what's going in the bedroom everywhere else. Like do what you want. I, I throw him a bone here and give him the all blacks at least, at least once a week. But I feel like I still want to like put some different things in there. So um, I went ahead and did, did this and he wasn't mad about it. <laughs> he was like, this smells so good. He actually commented um, a couple of times on day one and day two. So it had some really good staying power. He was like, whatever this is, this is really, really nice. So thank you so much. It is definitely husband approved. It has Sean's stamp of approval. So I will definitely be going back to this mix as well really really nice and like i said previously this was one cube to one cube in the same warmer in our bedroom and it was so nice so loved it so thank you so much okay the next one i have to give a huge shout out to my girl christine so christine says if you saw the mix with me from last time i decided i was gonna do i was gonna kind of zhuzh up sean's beloved oodles of orange <laughs> I decided I was like, okay, so we take his beloved oodles of orange and then we meet halfway where I, I mean, I love the fruity scents as well, but I am like bakery 99% of the time. I love me a good bakery scent. Um, and so I'm like, let's, let's take the fabulousness of oodles of orange and let's make it bakery. <laughs> and so I did the mix, um, with oodles of orange and almond croissant and he was not a fan. He, it was fine. He, he said, this is fine. But you just don't need to mess with it like why why mix it you don't have to mix it and i'm like it's not that we have to we don't but let, let's just have some fun let's just kind of put a twist on it zhuzh it up if you will he was like no <laughs> you don't have to judge nothing up with oodles orange so christine comments and i greatly appreciate it and he actually got a kick out of this too um christine says you can take the orange out of the man but you can't take the oodles out of the man <laughs> laugh out loud that was cheesy i know i loved it i absolutely loved it um i'm oodles of orange all the way has sean ever tried oodles of orange and squeeze the day together very nice i am thinking he will like it uh, I already commented on that <laughs> and I was like, okay, I have to redeem myself here. So oodles of orange and squeeze the day it mixed one cube to one cube in the same warmer and it was a hit. So clearly you can tell my husband loves a good citrus scent, citrus and fruity sweet. Um, that's, that's his, that's his thing. Like he loves that. So this was definitely a hit. And he lo he loves Squeeze the Day on its own as well. Clearly, he loves Oodles of Orange on its own. So doing this mix, he was like, okay, this is good. Like, I, I really like this. So huge kudos to Christine and saving my marriage. <laughs> no, totally kidding. But um, no, it, this was a huge, huge hit. This was fantastic because Oodles of Orange is very, um, it's, it's very sweet, citrus, fun, fruity really really nice um and there were a few of you who had said yeah you don't need to mess with oodles of orange like just don't do it um my girl tacy actually had a really good suggestion she sent me uh, a text last night and she was like what about now I, I think i am gonna actually do this mix so this is kind of her suggestions like off the record i guess um so i have to like write it down so i don't forget um but his other love um 
is Blue Grotto. He loves the Blue Grotto fragrance. And so I'm wondering, Tacy had suggested, she's like, why don't you try Oodles of Orange and Blue Grotto together? Because Blue Grotto is, it's a citrus, it's a tropical citrus scent. So I think that would be a really good mix too. So I think I may try that one as well. So, but this is just, it's really nice. So Oodles of Orange, fantastic. Squeeze the day is such a lovely uh, lemon scent. It's a sugary, sweet lemon scent. So really, really nice. It doesn't smell like that, like pledge furniture polish or pine sol or anything like that. Um, it's, it has that sugary sweetness that is just really, really nice. Um, and lemon scents you kind of can't go wrong with because it's nice and clean. So thanks so much, Christine. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Okay. Last one is coming from my girl, Caroline and Caroline, uh, responds with a few really great suggestions as well. The one that I took from her list was jammy time and silver bells. So one cube to one cube in the same warmer. And this is such a different mix because I would not have thought to mix these two together. Like, I don't know why, but I just, this is just one of those mixes where I just would not have put two and two together <laughs> to think that would be good. Um, but it's really nice. So jammy time, I really hope it comes back. Um, jammy time is available in the laundry line, which is perfect there, but I really hope it does come back for the spring and summer. If not, it's secured in my club. So I'm good there, but it is a really great scent and wax as well. Um, Oh, it just makes me, it makes me nice and cozy. It smells like my bed. It smells like my bed. It makes me want to go take a nap. Um, this it's like, it's got lavender and it's got, um, I think some sweet pea and freesia. It's a sweet, like laundry floral, if that makes sense. So really, really pretty. I love this, not powdery in any kind of way. And then we have silver bells and silver bells offers um, another type of sweetness, not floral. Um, I think there's like, it's like a winter pear and then there's some peppermint in this that just adds a little bit of coolness. So it sounds like kind of an interesting mix and it is, it's really, really nice because it just kind of, you know what it does? It kind of winterizes jammy time. For me, this mix, jammy time is what's shining through, but then Silver Bells is just saying, hey, let's give you a little winter twist here. <laughs> and so it was really, really nice. I really liked it. It performed fantastic. I had this going in our main living area, in our kitchen living room area that's all super open, and it performed really great. So um, that was really, really nice. So. There you have it. Those were the four mixes that I had done and they were all hits. Like there wasn't one of these that I was like, yeah, this was fine, but I won't probably reach for it again. Y you guys, I'm having to like start a notebook here <laughs> with all of your fantastic suggestions. So thank you so much. Definitely keep them coming. Let's do what's going to be my like mix of the week. Um, you know, I'm going to have to go, obviously, Sean's mix of the week is going to be Squeeze the Day and Oodles of Orange. I would say the highlight for me was definitely the summer boardwalk vibe here with sugar and vanilla waves. So, so nice. I would definitely say that this would be my pick of the week overall. Um, this was really, really good. This is definitely one that I will definitely be doing over and over again. It was beautiful. So thank you so, so much. Thank you for everyone who has submitted a suggestion. Again, I'm not ignoring you if I haven't gotten to your suggestion yet. Um, I am loving doing the mixing, but I also like to melt some just like straight up bars, straight up fragrances, just as is as well. But I am definitely enjoying getting back into the mixing um, and your suggestions are absolutely fabulous. So thank you so, so much. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to leave a comment down below. If you have a mix you want me to give a try, go ahead and leave a comment. If you don't wanna leave a comment, you can send your mix suggestion into rowberrywax at gmail.com. And I, I have a little folder where I put my mix suggestions in there as well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content, if you like this series, if you think it's fun, um, definitely give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.